Welcome back guys. So today we'll be continuing data structure and algorithm. So today we'll be seeing the program of Q. So all my previous lectures were to explain the definition of Q, the working of it, like and the insertion and deletion and the display function of it. So I have just combined all of these videos and I've written the code down here and also how it works. So let us see. First we'll go to this is the patch packages which we included, define the size of an array, maximum size initialize and declared the variables three function prototypes now the main function so the case and the respective cases now for insert we have seen that rear equals to max minus one then insert is not possible and if for the first case then this three will be occur front will set to zero and rear will be increased and item will be also inserted and for other cases simply rear will be inserted and now for delete, if the list is empty or the list has been made empty, so we can see the deletion is not possible. And the display function as usual for empty list, it will show empty, and for other, it will show Q. So let us see how it works. So I'll just run it, I'll just put it here. So first, we need to insert. So let us I'll insert one, so enter the element 10. Again, insert 20. So let's see whether it, whether it works. So, display yes, Q is 10, 20. And let us insert more elements like 30. Again, I'll insert 40. And now, again, insert 50. Now, again, insert 60. So, insert is not possible. The list has been full. Let us see. So, yes, it is full. So, now let us just delete elements. Yes, division. Deletion, 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 and deletion. Let us see the list has been empty. So, so this is how you write. So first, I'll show the first case which I have talked about, like insert one, element ten, and delete. So the first has an element has been deleted. So the list has been empty. So this is how you work your queue. So thanks for watching it.